Welcome to Hot Wheels World Race. Yes, finally, I have got this emulated and I'm going to be doing a... Well, I'll, to be honest, I'll say a playthrough of it. There's nothing really to actually play through here. Uh, oh, I've waited on the menu for too long. Oh, for God's sake. Because uh, the thing about World Race is, unlike Stunt Trap Challenge, unlike Velocity X, there's no real adventure mode slash campaign to really go through. The closest thing we've actually got is the League, which is Rookie, Veteran and Elite. And that's the lot. That's genuinely it. The challenge mode is just a tutorial. Um, now, I have recorded this in the past, however, the video, there was so much slowdown on it, even when I was just emulating the game normally. I had so much. So I've messed around with settings. Um, I'm hoping that I've removed a lot of the slowdown, but there's no guarantees. I think there's still going to be a lot. So I will go through what I did um, in that recording. I think, to be honest, if it's still slowing down, I'm just going to have to put up with it. Um, I have done tests without uh, recording, and it does seem to be working fine in terms of the slowdown, but... I've no idea what it's going to be like with recording. I imagine it's going to be a little bit worse. So, let's, uh, I'll do the challenge mode first. I'll do the tutorial. Um, now, as I have said in the past, the, uh, World Race is the one I am not nostalgic for. I am nowhere near as nostalgic for this as I am something like um, Stunt Drive Challenge or Velocity X or anything like that. Yeah, I could probably I could tell there's a little bit of slowdown there. Um, however, that's not to say I haven't played this game before. That is a complete lie. I have in the past, but nowhere near the extensive amount. I think, to be honest, I just use cheat codes to get all the vehicles and all the tracks. But I will do things properly. Yeah, I can. you can probably tell a little bit with the music um, that there is slowdown. So, there is that. I need to figure out what actually doing that little... Yeah, you can definitely tell the slow down here. No, oh, that that's a shit, but I've done the best I can do. I've taken around with a bunch of settings and things like that. I did try uncapping the frames per second, but for some reason, because the main menu works fine, it runs at 300%. So it's quite funny, I'll admit. However, it's not really conducive to a good video when the menu music is running like 5 million times what it should be doing. So... I'm just going to have to put with what I've got. Oh, well, that's not a great start, is it? Uh, oh, I, I still did it. <laughs> Get in. Um, that's not a land that job whatsoever. Yeah, I need to figure out what the bloody hell, when I do the stunts, what the bloody hell the little button combo thing actually does. Um, I don't even think the tutorial tells me. Perform a button and land it. Press the action buttons during the stunt. Yeah, well, what does that do? Or, yeah, you know, it's all fine and dandy showing me a, the overboard on fire and going at some speed, but what does it even do? I don't know. Um, right, what we got? That. Perfect. Eh. It's, <laughs> it's all I could do. Is, I don't know. My only thought, my only thought is that um, it increases the stats of the car. So, like, the top speed's a little bit higher, the um, acceleration's better, the grip is better. That's all I can think. All right, so I've got a handbrake on these corners. Uh, the handbrake's not... It's not square. I think... Yeah, brake... Brake is... X for me. Uh, hello. Uh, handbrake is... Left bumper. There we go. I can get the boost. Lovely. And we're sorted. Right. There we go, that's that's the tutorial completed. Yeah, that's basically that's it. <laughs> that's challenge mode. Um Yeah, so there we have it. Well that's World Race for you. No, I will I will actually jump into the league stuff. Um Yes, challenge mode complete. There wasn't really any challenge to it in the slightest, but there we go. Right. Okay. Single player league time and we'll do the rookie league. So Let's actually talk about the car list, um, because, well, this car list is actually really good. I quite like it. So there's, obviously, the five teams, Road Beasts, uh, Wave Rippers, TM, Scorchers, TM, June Rats, 
and Street Breed. And I think each team has, what's that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven cars, so 35. Um, so we'll go through Ballistic, I actually do own Twin Mill. I own, not only that, I actually own the Twin Mill 2 and the Twin Mill 3. I don't own the Twin Mill E. That might be on the list at some point. Uh, Vulture, I own. Zotic, I own. I actually have the, um, the Road Beasts Zotic coin uh, in front of me, actually, which is quite cool. And the, um, what's it, the little booklet, uh, the little World Race comic, episode 60. Hang on a minute. Well, I bought the phone. Why is Rick Handy there bald and yet on here? He's ginger. Um, okay. Are, are we sure we're talking about the same person here? Hang on. There's actually... Yeah, World Race Story... Yeah, Rick, Rick Handy. He's bald on this! What's happened? How... He's magically lost hair, but he's moved hair from his beard... From his hair to, to his beard. That was a sentence and a half. Uh, Power Rocket, I own... Uh, Power Pistons, I do own. Grease Lightning, I do own. Diora 2, I have. Backdraft, I don't have. Oh, that's his name, Finn Serpent. Alright. Switchback, I don't. Oh, that's his name. It is actually Alec Hoodwood. I mean, who the hell would call himself HUD? Uh, uh, heads up display, I don't know, but there we go. I'm not them. Um, power Pipes, I do own. Sweet hair, by the way. Um, nice ball cut they get. 40 something, I do own. It's actually right in front of me. Um, Mark Wilde, I do not own the Golden Arrow, uh, no matter what, I also don't own. Overboard, I do own. Uh, Roger Dodger, I do own. Cormal Coupe, I do not own. Muscle Torn, I have. Maelstrom, I have. Silhouette 2, I don't have. Um, so Fast, I do have. Um, right. Kadeem, uh, Crazy 8, yes. Super Tune, yes. Uh, Sure Stop, as I know it as, yes. Sweet 16-2, I do actually have. Mega Duty, I do have. Jest, I do have. And MST Suzuka, I also do have. So I've got the entirety of the June maps. Slingshot, I do own. In fact, it's actually right in front of me. The Street Breed one. 24-7, yes. Side Draft, it's on its way. I have bought one, so that's now being delivered. Road Rocket, I have it. Not that you can see, I'm pointing to me wardrobe. I have the 1998 Treasure Hunt. Aero Flash, I don't have. Pony up, I don't have that is on my list actually. I should get the pony up. Hot Wheels Prototype 12, I do have as well. Um that's enough looking at the car, so let's actually go drive. And I think You know what, we'll go on the power pistons. Uh because I don't use this car too much. Right, what have we gotta do? Uh right, okay, cloud nine. We're in the cloud district. So the game not really telling anything me about the button combo, it really helpful, so thanks. Right, let's see how bad is the slowdown, because this will- oh dear. <laughs> this will- yes, this is the track that really is bad. I, I, I drove on here before, and it was working fine. I think it's when I hit start recording, because I'm doing- I'm, I think I'm doing a lot on the internal, so I think that is just really causing a lot of problems. Um, so I do apologise, but it's the best it's the best I've actually been able um, to get working. I think what's, I think when we get into space, that's actually going to be the work. I've got the way. Oh bollocks! Um, well, you got in the way of me picking up the bloody Cheerios, so lovely stuff. Um, now I do know how to get vehicle. If you don't know how to get cars in this game, essentially these, well, I just called Cheerios. Um, they are the little pickups. There's a hundred on each track. If you collect 50 and come in the top three, you win one car. If you collect all 100, and um, I don't know if you have to win. Um, I've not tested it because um, I always win on these. Um, but yeah, if you collect all 100, that's how you unlock the second car, which I, I quite like to be honest. Um, it does mean, you know, you're sort of forced to drive the other route. I am not driving this track well. Sorry. Sorry, power pistons. Oh, God, come on. Get up the hill. Oh, you haven't meant to have a ridiculous amount of power. It's not that steep a hill. Bloody hell. What's the... How oh, crap is this... How oh, crap are the vehicles getting up hills in this? They've got no pulling power in the slightest. Christ alive, my Mazda 2 does better getting up hills than this. <laughs> That's a 104 horsepower diesel. 
I mean, it does have 220 newton meters of torque, but this feels like it's got none. I'll get out of the way. Right, I'm going to boost a little bit earlier. Um, I don't think they boost off that ramp. Come on. Lovely. And we got boost. Uh, oh, there we go. We actually managed to get the jump. The uh, boost that time. Lovely. Yeah, I've no idea what it does, but I'm presuming it boosts stats. The little flaming. Alright, okay, so we finished two seconds ahead that time. Lovely. Uh, 15 points. Yeah. So, I mean, the slowdown was bad on this track. It's a hell of a lot. As soon as we get into space, I'm telling you now, I go to like four frames a second. It is. It's hilarious and quite sad at the same time, but I've tried. I really have tried. Um, I just can't do it. Oh, God, speaking of space, here we are. I have to say, right, I will, uh, I'll give my quick overview of this. I actually really enjoy this game. I really do. Compared, this compared to Stone Track Challenge, because I know that's what the main comparison really is. Um... I think if you are looking for just a pure out-and-out -out racing game, World Race, I think, is actually better. I think the tracks are a lot more varied. They look a lot better. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> I can tell how slow the music is. I'm not playing it in slow motion. This is genuinely how it is just playing on my laptop, sadly. I don't... I, I don't really have room. I don't even know where I could put... Oh god, yeah, it really has slowed down. Come on! Get over the hill. Uh, oh, that's not really well. Hey, look, it's like Jupiter. I think it is. It might not be, I don't know. Right, uh, right give me this. We're in this thing. I don't know, po Poison Ivy's space garden. No idea why it's up here, but it is. I'm not going to question it anymore. Right. Um, oh yeah, I forgot this one. I've been... This track doesn't have any ramps, does it? Right, come on, Pow Pistons. Use your better grip that you don't have velocity X, but you're doing this. Uh, but anyways, as I was saying before, if you're looking for just a pure racing game, I think your better bet is actually this game. Um, like I said, the tracks are a lot more varied. I think the game is um, a lot better looking. There's a lot more... Oh, Jesus Christ, what are you doing? Ramming my car the arse. Um, yeah. The tracks look better, there's a lot more going on. I mean, there's a shortcut there. Uh, well, there's the token there. Um, I didn't hear that the first time around, probably because my game was slowing down too much. Yeah. Um, I'll say, yeah, I think the tracks are a lot more interesting in this, but... And I, I think there's more cars... Well, there's more cars for you to actually race. However, if you're looking for a complete package, like, you know, everything you get... I forgot, is there tokens down this way? Uh, no, I just... Oh, no, there is. It was a complete waste of time. Right, okay, boost. Um, oh, we got the full screen once. Was that... Was that... Rock, um, what was it? Asteroid just looking at me. Why is it got... I swear I just saw a face in that asteroid. <laughs> um, I think as a complete pack, as a complete game, for everything you get, I think Stun Track Challenge is actually better. Because not only, you know, do you have the races, but you also have the, um, you know, the stunts, the fact that, you know, the stunt mode, the fact that there's actually a proper single-player campaign. Um, not only that, you know, the fact that you can custom... I can understand why this game doesn't let you actually customise the cars. You know, these are meant to be the World Race vehicles, so I can understand that. Um, you know, World Star Trek Challenge, you could do that. That's a nice little addition. Um... And yeah, there's a proper campaign, there's a proper single player. The quick races, you can actually change the amount of laps you want to do on each track. Um, yeah, so I think there's just a bit more, there's a bit more to do in Stone Track Challenge compared to this. So that, that's my, that's my opinion on it. Now yours will be different, that's completely fine. Oh, I don't think it actually has a face, but it just looks like one. I don't know, I'll grab a screen, I'll grab a screen grab for you. I'm, I'm sure you'll probably see it yourself. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my general thoughts on it. I will, at some point, do a proper comparison, because I think, I think that's, I think these two get compared, you know, quite a bit of which one do people prefer. Because a lot of people say this is, a stunt truck challenge is essentially this, but with an annoying commentator. I mean, I can understand why they think Ryan Storm is annoying at times, but 
it's going to be like the game fuel hole, so I can understand having that. Uh, oh wow, I actually got second. I don't know what time I did better. There we go, just put that in. Um, but yeah, that, that, that's a general, general overview of it. I will talk in more detail of the games at a later time, but for now, that's a that's a little insight. Um, points need to continue sick. This with me in Fortnite. Okay, that's fine. And get all the pickups as well. Hopefully, my recording's still okay. I've no idea. Okie dokie. Right, Vapor City. Oh god, the slowdown's back again. <laughs> Come on, let's go, let's go, let's get wiggle on. Come on, speed, all of it. All of the acceleration that I don't really have. Oh, damn it. No. Uh, let's look around here. Oh, why are you so slow there, Ballistic? Oh, God, the slowdown. <laughs> it is painful to watch. Right, up here we go. Pepin! Uh, I probably didn't do that corner great, but... Oh, well. We, we made it through in one piece, just about, right, over the loop-de-loops. Wow, that, that suspension on the ballistic, it is, go <laughs> it is going mental. Look how high... I think you might need to... I think there's probably some tuning you might need to do on that. Bloody hell, that is quite alarming. Right. I mean, I've already got... I didn't mean to do a backflip. I meant to do a barrel roll, but I kind of realised a little bit too late what I was doing. Yeah, that's... That's another thing that you need to keep in mind um, if you are not going to play this game is you need to swap between doing backflips and barrel rolls because you get less boost. And I think if you... And as well, you can't do the little button core thing that does a thing. Um, so yeah, if you if you do like multiple backflips, you get less boost. So I think if it says still, you only get half boost. And if it's super still, you don't get any boost in the slightest. So, you know, you need to keep that in mind, which of course, since the Chuck Challenge, they got rid of, you can just do whatever the hell you wanted. And you'd be, and you get away with it. Okay, uh, drop the positions, of course, and take the, and take the shortcut. Oh, how far we drop down? We drop down to four. The catch-up in this game as well seems a lot more egregious. I mean, in Stunt Chuck Challenges, I don't even think... I don't even think it's there, but in this it, it is quite a lot. Okay, so I've got to do a front flip on this. There we go, and time to set ourselves on fire. Uh, that, that didn't quite work out. Bloody hell, to, in, to do 240 miles an hour at an instant, the amount of G's that must be put. Uh, oh god, hello. Right, the. <laughs> The silhouette too over there. Look at the suspension. It, it is hilarious. I love it. Right. Okay, over this way we go. Right, foul roll this time. Complete. Did all the cool things. Oh, I missed a few pickups. That one's a man. I've already got the car. I've already got the car from this area, so it's just a commodity, really. Right, I missed, missed the boost. It doesn't matter. Across the line we go. Let's face a more slow down. Lovely. So I got an itchy face. And yeah, I'm running away a little bit. How the hell did you take that corner that good? Hey, I explain yourself. That, that was bloody better than Formula One levels of grip. What was that about? And yeah. Uh, what race are we on now? Race four. I think it's only. I think it's like. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Race is remaining three. Right. Okay. This is the beginning race. I I am enjoying this game. I do really enjoy this game. I think it is just sad that there's just, there's nothing really to it. It's just 10 race tracks and that's it. Yeah, sure, you know, like I said, it's got 30, it's got 35 cars for you to mess around with, hence highway, well, I know it's not highway 35, unless they did that on purpose. Um, you know, the fact you've got 35 cars, it's highway 35. I think the dots are connecting together on my behalf. I, I think I'm learning. Oh god! Oh the hell! I clipped through the Diorva two there. All right, come on! 160 odd miles an hour. Well, there we go. We're at full. Are we at full speed? I don't even know. I'm so used to the slowdown now. I can't even tell. 
Oh, not anymore. I think I was for a brief bit. Right, come on. Oh, I might have to. I think there was enough tokens here for me to use my boost and then instantly get it back again. Right. Right, boost. Do all that stuff. Yeah, because I know this game predates Stunt Track Challenge, so a lot of the sound effects in Stunt Track Challenge were from this. So, you know, there is that. Ooh, Christ, I love. A lovely lap two already. Uh, there we go. Right, remember. Barrel roll. Right. Now we can do the orange flamies. Probably a good amount of speed, actually. Holding it well over 200 miles an hour. Ooh, I don't really want to be... Well. I mean, it feels like it's got a little bit more grip. That's my only thought, is that I actually... All my stats are boosted. Yeah, I think I definitely could have boosted there. And if I'm, okay, so this is the... So that's the back flip and front flip ramp. The beginning one is the bow goals, right? Remember that. I know you're watching... I know you're going to be watching this. Um, I mean, if you're making it this far, then thank you. <laughs> um... But yeah, I think that reminds me that this ramp here, this is the barrel rolling run. Land it. Perfect. I think I figured out how the perfect land is when you get like the little ground pound effect of like your team's got. That is actually a nice little touch. Oops. The fact that the, the tail lights are of your team's colour. I do actually like that. Okay, so backflip of this one. Uh, oh no, that actually worked too. Alright, okay, never mind. Lovely. Keep the speed up, keep the speed up. Doesn't seem that steep a hill, but apparently to the Hot Wheels cars it is. Boost across the line. There we go. That was a nice easy win. How far were you ahead? It's only a second. I think that's what I... That's what it feels like, is the stunt... The stunt... The catch-up feels a lot more egregious on this. As in, it has... Ooh, 219. Hey, I'm learning. I feel like this car's actually quite good. I don't know what the like the, the meta cars really are. But I won't just spam them out. I do, I do fancy using other vehicles as well. Oh, God, we've got another space one. Time <laughs> prepared for a four-minute race, or three-minute race, to turn into seven minutes, because of the slowdown. Um, what was the same? Yeah. As in, it actually feels like it has catch up compared to Stone Trap Challenge. That, it, I imagine it probably does, but it definitely doesn't feel like it does. So you know, there, there is that. Right, okay, come on. Use the. How many gears is this? How many gears do the cars have in it? I feel like it's a five-speed, but first to fourth, it's, but it's like a crap gearbox. Um, this is like first, second, third, fourth, fifth. It's like you're in fifth gear and you're doing 90 miles an hour, and all of a sudden, fifth gear takes you from 90 to 200. Like, what the hell gearbox is this? At least Stunt Track Challenge had a sensible gearbox. Right, okay. Because I can act. Oh my god, the slowdown is quite a lot. Right, hopefully now I'm on my own a little bit, right, and do need to take the other route as well, get those tokens. Uh. There we go, got all them. Boost. Right, uh, hang it. Hang it in the middle. Oh, oh. Well, we was going at full speed for all about four seconds. Up as we go. And there's Earth. Uh, yeah, I, I have to say, this game... The, the environment looks so much better than we get on Stunt Trap Challenge. Not gonna, not saying no, that Stunt Trap Challenge is an awful looking game. It isn't. But... A lot more is going on in World War. It is so colourful and whatnot. It's fantastic. Uh, oh god! And I, I know for a fact it's not. Um, what's it? It's not really the emulator at fault. I think it is actually. Um, you know, I think for other people this game actually runs really fine. For me, though, it's not. It runs like ass. Oh, well, I've missed those tokens. Oh, okay, I'll just have to put up with I'm getting them. How do I end up in the lead? Uh, oops. I, w I was in the lead, and then I drove into the wall on the straight line five times. Because I'm an absolute mutter. Get out the way, silhouette, too. Come in, Flute. Right, ooh. 
Go we'll take the boost pad, he's not really helped too much, I will admit. And over the jump. I think my was my best lap like 43 seconds. I think it was. And this. Ah, oh, that actually slowed me down. Okay, backflip, get the double, deal with the slowdown. There we go, the boost again slowed me down. I need to stop going for those boost pads as soon as I land the jump. Because it ju all it does is actually just reduce your speed that you're going. Uh, what the? Excuse me. In your bloody silhouette too, whatever your name is. Get back there. Alright, okay, so apparently not corkscrew, but we're fine at running full speed. Alright, okay, good to know. Noted, and as soon as we get round that, not so much. Uh, oh, I, I think I did that a bit too early, I don't know. We won. I think I've got this championship right in the bag. Yeah, only two seconds ahead. Okay, what are the points looking at? Oh, wow, it's not very close between me uh, and then everyone else, but there is a three way. It is a t yeah, three way battle, I can count, for second place, all of them being on 36 points. Ah, only fourth there. I mean, admittedly, I didn't take the shortcut three times, so, take, you know, kind of ignore that. Right. So now, I think it's just the one race, and then that's Rookie League done. Yep. I've won this champ. I've got this championship in the bag. Try and beat the... Try and... Uh... Oh, okay, so... Oh, okay, so I unlock gallery items, but with the time trials. Alright, okay, there's a little bit more to it than that. So I, I will actually go through then and complete the time trials. If I if there's more stuff, um, you know, if there's more stuff for me, like, right, second, third, fourth, fifth. Right, definitely it's a five speed. Oh god, this slow down. Right, yeah, right, so it is a five speed. First to fourth covers 90 miles an hour, <laughs> and fifth takes you all the way to 200. So, there you go. I, somehow, Stunt Track Challenge Stunt Track Challenge has the most logical gearbox with its four speed. Um, uh, because, you know, the cars naturally can go up to 200, 200 plus miles an hour, on some, some cars can, but they act... It, actually is properly sensible. Right, okay, so do a front flip. Got that. Boost over this way. Okay. Oh, I got all those tokens. Nice. Come on. Cruising speed of 170. Uh, yeah. Actually, to be honest, that is one thing I have, I do sort of feel like um, with this, is that the, because the car the car stats pretty much like I know I know the grip levels are actually different. Um, but the acceleration and speed stat are basically the opposite of each other. So if we've got more speed, less excel, blah de blah. And, you know, pretty pretty self explanatory stuff. It was like the class system in Stunt Track Challenge where heavy vehicles, you know, they have the highest top speed, but the slowest acceleration and the worst handling. Compared to tuner vehicles which had the lowest top speed. Um but, you know, handled the best and had the highest acceleration. Well, you know, pretty much like that. With this, I feel like probably because you're boosting so much, um, that the top speed stat, I find, almost doesn't really matter. Like you're mostly just focusing on acceleration. I don't know if that's genuinely true or not, that top speed mat just, you know, means jack shit, but I don't know, it's just what it feels like to me anyway. Okay, around the loop de loop we go. Now, you're welcome AIs for getting the shortcuts for you. Oh, that, that was enough. Right. Get the, get the little thing, because apparently it does a thing. Right. That? Oh, the piss off! That, I boost... Uh, well, my car could be on flames for a bit longer, but I landed. The, I did a boost jump, lying sod. I'm missing two tokens. Why am I missing the two tokens? Are they on the non-shortcut? I don't even know. 
Well, I mean, to be honest, that doesn't, doesn't even seem like you need to do the nitrous boost. To, oh dear. Ignore that. You, you didn't see anything. Right, I'll... <laughs> I might go back into editing and just turn the opacity to zero so you didn't watch what happened there. Oh god. What did I do? Did I do a bowel go or did I do a backflip? Oh well, only one way to find out. Oh, I gambled correctly. Oh, bugger off. That was a perfect landing. Oh, I'm not even going to get the shortcut anymore. I'd say, because I don't think the AIs ever boost off that jump. No, they don't. I don't know why. But they just don't. Not great. Right, come on. Oh, yeah, that definitely accelerated faster. Right, okay. So. Okay, that, that's. <laughs> yeah. Turns out the power pistons isn't really great at landing jump at them. Hang on. So the last one was a perfect, was a perfect landing, which I beg to differ. And yet that one was a great landing. I didn't do another front flip when I landed the bloody jump. Oh, at least I got the two final tokens. I... Oh, okay. That's definitely one thing I have noticed. Oh, wow, I had a big lead that time. Five seconds. That is definitely one thing I have noticed. Is landing the jumps in this are oh, nowhere near as consistent. Even when I swear I get them perfect, the game just decides to have a hissy fit at times. I went, nah, actually. But, there we go. Well, that's it. That's um, Rookie League for you. Also, yeah, I know about me, Mike. I have no idea. For some reason, when I go to... When I swap houses, it makes my mic have a, like almost act as like a different input, um, and therefore makes it have a different quality. I don't ask me to be honest. Oh, this is a funky soundtrack. Yeah. So listen to that for a little bit. Um, however, I'm not going to because I need to end the video here. So. Thank you very much for watching. Do hope you enjoyed. Uh, any and all feedback is appreciated. If you want to join my Discord, there is, of course, always a link in the description below. However, that is it from me. Take care and ciao for now.